What up everybody, Brian Willis here, no relation of Bruce, and welcome to another episode of Gloves Off ZW. So, I listened to the Say Colors album, Reggae Zenorira, and it's a very solid project. It's unfortunate that it was, you know, under Winky D's shadow, because they were released on the same date, the 31st of December to the 1st, New Year's. Uh, it's a solid project. It really is. Um, and this is coming from somebody who's... I'm not really a reggae fan. But um, I found the project very easily digestible. And I think people should give it a chance. And um, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Let's not make this about, hey, you're trying to be as big as Winky D or whatever but I think he's quite big in his own right and uh, Holy 10 also is dropping videos um, he recently dropped a video for Jivindi uh, it's a simple video um, Winky D is also still dropping singles yeah the album is still being rolled out <laughs> yeah we're gonna be talking about that guy for a long time but uh, another person kind of like caught my attention and he's catching a lot of flack for his comments. Uh, DJ Stavo, he's been laying low for quite a bit and he recently jumped out saying there's a lot of noise going around and yet there's zero hits. And yeah, you can you can only imagine... The Sir Colors fans, the Holy Ten fans, the Winky D fans, how they feel about such a comment. And I personally feel that for somebody of his stature, it's a bit of a low blow, man. I mean, as artists, while artists are catching all this flack and their music being politicized and another artist comes out and says zero hits. I mean, come on, man. Yeah, he's, he came out saying stuff like, I never even mentioned a name. But uh, people are going off the hinges and stuff like that. But you didn't mention any names. But if you're going to say that there's a lot of noise and there's zero hits. And yet Winky D released. Holy 10 released. Say Colors released. You're saying none of these guys released a hit. Meaning you didn't mention names. But you mentioned everybody. You included everybody. Unless you said except for ABC. But you mentioned everybody without mentioning anyone. So that's a bit of a sleazy way of trying to get out of it. And it was kind of like, I felt like it was a bit conflicted. Because if you read a lot of his tweets, they speak of stuff like when you grow up, you get to realize that you don't need the drama. You stay away from drama. But when you say stuff like that, you're encouraging the drama. He's, he seems very conflicted in his standpoint. And to be honest, he sounds like somebody who's actually quite maybe frustrated or depressed. And he's just looking for an outlet. I don't know. But I don't think this was the right way to go about it. Especially for somebody who's looking for peace. And he's been catching a lot of flack because of his comments. So to me, I really feel like that was a bit of a unnecessary statement to make i mean just let people enjoy their music if you are not enjoying it and you don't want the drama the best thing to do is to just be quiet because people will let out their frustrations on you for speaking on their favorite artists even though you didn't mention them you did include them in your statement so for me i feel like as artists artists need to find a way to just you know come together because at the end of the day y'all want to eat what is the point of throwing dirt on another artist's work you may think you didn't throw dirt on an another artist's work but you did you did indirectly and you know i say indirectly very loosely because it was really quite direct when people are talking about winky d holy ten and say colors and you come out and say everybody's making noise but there's zero hits People just focus on people with no talent, blah, blah, blah. You are talking about everyone who has released. So, I mean, and to be honest, I was quite disappointed because DJ Stavo, 
I don't know how good he is as a DJ. Um, I've never really experienced his DJ side of artistry. But he does have some very good songs. I mean, he's done collabs with uh, Oliver Mtukudzi. And one of my favorite tracks from Ja Praiser was actually him and uh was actually Ja Praiser and DJ Stavo. That's like my favorite Ja Praiser song. So it, it's it's very you know disappointing to hear somebody of such a stature saying something like that about fellow artists. We should just come together. Even if you don't feel the music, I mean there's something called just being politically correct because you attract a lot of negative energy when you say such stuff. Of course, people, some people hate being politically correct. I mean, I'm one of them. But there's some times when the political incorrectness is just unnecessary, if you ask me. And this was definitely one of those examples. Uh, I really don't have much more to speak of. Um, so if you have any additions or any contributions to the show... I'm going to be putting a link in the description below where you can join a group, where you can send videos or send suggestions and uh, keep the videos short and you'll be on the show. And also another thing that I wanted to tell you guys, um, a lot of you people are watching my videos and you're coming to me on my, on my WhatsApp and telling me, hey, this is brilliant, this is brilliant. And I don't see none of those comments on my videos. Um, it would help a lot for me as a content creator for you to comment on the videos even if the comments are negative by the way i accept all criticism as long as it's constructive so and not just me all content creators if you see a youtube video and you like what they're doing drop a like even subscribe drop a comment if it's a negative comment it's a negative comment just keep it respectful of course i do delete disrespectful comments by the way I do not play that. This is 2023. We cannot be dealing with negative energy. If you do not like the content, you are f you you are free to just scroll by. Brown Willis, no relation to Bruce. And this was another episode of Gloves Offset W. Catch you on the next one.